I'm getting on okay out here. Um, I've not had as much time to work on this as I'd hoped. But I have finished that digging over I was talking about. I had a bit of a shock when I got to this end of the garden. Down here where the tree thing is, there's concrete. I could just kind of chip it all out. Then I thought, actually, there used to be ivy growing here and it grew here quite well. It thrived, in fact. So I'm going to put some ivy down. Because the alternative to that is mulch. And I don't want to use that organic stuff that goes stinky and you have to change it every few years and it probably needs a liner under it and it just I've realized down this end that I'm going to have to deal with more blocks that are loose very loose in fact if you look there also you'll see what happens if you leave your bag of roots and stuff out in the weather to get rained on the weather we've been having has stopped me getting out here quite so much so I've been working on my model railway stuff my sister um, funded this little coach built from a kit. I put together this uh, truck last night also from a kit which uh, I've got to paint up. I'm basing it loosely on the Welsh narrow gauge railways I've seen in Wales <laughs> of all places. Putting slate chippings down it's obviously quite appropriate if I'm going to be modelling a Welsh railway. <laughs> I'm kind of starting to wonder if I'd rather just plant things down there. I did my sums and I worked out it probably cost me close to 80 quid to put chippings down there I could probably get quite a lot of plants for 80 quid and I'm thinking it's actually a lot more fun than I thought it would be I'm probably supposed to eat my hat actually admitting that I've enjoyed this what's that 